Hello and welcome to today's class. Here we have uh, this exponential challenge before us here. To what number are we going to raise um, 2 to give us 9? Now, if we take a simple look at our 2 here, we know that our 2 to the power of 0, this is equal to 1. And 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. Then 2 to the power of 2 will give us R4. Then 2 to the power of 3 will give us what? R8. Then 2 to the power of 4 will give us R16. Okay. So what does that imply? It means that the value of X here is going to fall within 3 and 4. But it's going to be closer to 3. Because here we have 8 and here we have 16. So between 3 and 4, the value will be closer to 3. So we're going to have something maybe within 3 point whatever, whatever. But how do we get this answer? Is the aim of this video. So we take our solution from here. So we have solution. All right, so we have 2 to the power of x equal to our 9. Now, with what we have here, now we are having 2 here as a base number. The, can we express 9 in base 2? It's no. But we can take it to base 3. So, 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. And so, we're going to have here 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Wow. Well, they are two different base numbers. Okay? So, we cannot equate the exponent here but how do we approach this from this standpoint we just have to uh, log both sides of the equation we can either take the ln base e or log base 10 but here let's take log base 10 so we're going to log both sides this is going to give us our log 2 to the power of x base 10 equal to log 3 to the power of 2 base 10 so this side of the equation is to the power of x and this side is also to the power of 2. And so we're going to apply a simple law in logarithm. It says that when you have your log, your log uh, x to the power of y, take this y to this side to so give y times log your x. This base 10 is base 10. Okay, so we want to apply that law to this and to this. So we're going to move this this way, move this this way. So we're going to have here x times our log 2 base 10 equal to our 2 times log 3 base 10. Easy. We are looking for x. So x is already playing out here. We divide through by log 2 base 10. So we divide through by log 2 base 10. We probably divide this by log 2 base 10. So this, this will leave. We have our x standing on its own now. Now, this expression we have in the past, let's express our s here. So we have here 2 times our log 3, then base 10, all over log 2 base 10. We can get the numerical values of x from here. How? We can find the value of 3, log 3, then value of log 2, and when we divide, multiply by 2, it's going to give us something around 3 point a value. Okay? Now, if you put that there and you simplify, it's going to give you an approximate value. Now, I promise you that we're going to do a check on this route. But before we do a check on this route, we want to rewrite this answer to enable us to check the answer easily. Right? Good. Now we're going to apply what is called the change of base rule to this expression we have here. The law which says that if you have your log, let's say you have your log A, then base B, you can change this to base C. And this is going to give us log your A, base C, where C is the new base number, then all over the log of your B, B, C. So this is what we call change of B's law in logarithm. 
And so we want to rewrite this answer here. So rewriting this, this is going to give us our x will now be equal to 2 times log 3 base 2. So this is the final way or form of expressing our x. Now, we want to do a simple share. We want to put the whole of this expression in here and see if it will satisfy the answer. So we're doing the verification. So we are going to take here check. So check here, well, our question is 2 to the power of x is equal to 9. So wherever we see x, we want to put in 2 times log 3 base 2. Okay? And so this is going to give us 2 times, or sorry, 2 raised to the power of 2 times log 3 base 2 equal to R9. We apply another law of log reading, which is what we call the power law of log reading, which says that if you have your uh, log, you have your log, okay, we've already written it here, right? We're going to apply this law here now by moving this one this way. So it's in this format, look at our expression. It's in this format, so we want to take it back here. And so we want to move this to, to this other side. So this could be written as 2 to the power of log 3 to the power of 2 base 2. Everything equal to 9 in here. Again, remember the law in a logarithm. Again, we say that when you have your log, uh, let's, take a, let's take another alphabet, okay? Say that if you have your a, okay, all raised to the power of log, your b, okay, let's take b, this a, because here we're having a and here we're having log b is a, this, this will lead to give us r b. So with this, look at here, we're having 2 to the power of log, 2, 3 to the power of 2 base 2. So this, this will lead. So we are now left with 3 to the power of 2 is equal to r9. And what is 3 to the power of 2? That is 9, equal to 9. All right, so this shows that the answer which we got, x equal to 2 times log 3 base 2, actually satisfied the original equation. Thank you for being there. Any question with regards to this, drop it in the comment section. See you in our next class.